Hello and welcome everyone. Today we shall see all the basic formulae used for solving the problems on logarithm. So the very first thing we need to see is the definition of logarithm. For this we consider an expression as b is equal to a raised to the power x. This exponential expression is expressed in a logarithmic form as log of b to the base a is equal to x. This definition of logarithm is a very important part. This allows us to convert expressions from exponential form to logarithmic form and vice versa. Now let us see that uh, some important results from the definition itself. The first result which comes as log of a to the base a is equal to 1 that is log of any number on the same base is always equal to unity. Also log of 1 to the base a is equal to 0 that means that log of unity at any with any base is equal to 0. Now there are some other logs like the normal logarithm. The normal logarithm means the log of a number taken on the base 10 and it is written as log of a to the base 10. But for the normal logarithm whenever it is written as log of a it means that is equal to log of a to the base 10 and whenever the base is not written in the log it always means that the log is normal log with the base 10. And then comes the natural logarithm. In the natural logarithm, the base of the number, base of the log is e, that is Euler's number. So log of a to the base e is also written as equal to ln a. Ln means the log with the base e. And here e is Euler's number expressed as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity of uh, 1 by factorial n comes somewhere near 2.78 it's an approximate number so now we come to the multiplication formula of the log the multiplication formula of the logs says that log of x into y to the base a can be expressed as equal to log of x to the base a plus log of y to the base a similarly the division formula says that log of x divided by y to the base a becomes equal to log of x to the base a minus log of y to the base a and the power law of the log says that log of x raised to the power n to the base a becomes equal to n into log of x to the base a and then comes the chain rule of the log that when so many logarithms with different bases are multiplied in the pattern given as log of b to base a into log of c to the base b into log of d to, to the base c till the end it comes log of a to the base d the last log has the same the number as the base of the first log so this patterned multiplication becomes equal to 1 you can just look at the pattern and see that how it how it is written on the left hand side from this chain rule, we come to the exchange of base formula which states, which states that log of b to the base a can be written as equal to 1 by log of a to the base b. You can just see that the taking, just taking the reciprocal exchanges the base and the number in the log. And similarly, there is a change of base formula which states that log of b to the base a becomes equal to log of b to the base n divided by log of a to the base n. There is a new base inserted here that is n and both the numbers on the left hand side the number and base they are given as numerator and denominator of logs here. And then we just see that what happens when log comes in exponent like a raised to the power log of b to the base n. It becomes equal to b raised to the power log of a to the base n. This formula is not encountered in day-to-day -day life for normal calculations, but it comes 
it becomes very handy in the in solving the competitive problems or the problems of entrance exams they somehow love it so a corollary to this formula is a raised to the power log of b to the base a becomes equal to b you can easily prove this formula using different methods but it is better to just remember it for keeping it handy for other calculations in the competitive exams so this is all you need to remember for solving logarithmic problems thanks for watching